focus. Holy Father, protect them in your name that you have given me. Whilst growing up, I remember my father praying aloud for us. Somehow it always brought us comfort and reassurance to hear him pray in that way. This passage of John gives us an insight into the mind and tone of Jesus' conversation with his heavenly father, especially the love and mercy in his heart for us and what he desires for us. He prays for us to be safe and sanctified, protected and persevering, to be one with him and the father and united in love for one another. His prayer gives us security and strength and enriches us as disciples. It specifies our calling and our mission. It must be brought to mind specifically when we are undergoing trials and difficulties. Then we will be faithful to God's will and commandments. Jesus' sacrifice on the cross united us all as children of his Father. His sacrifice of total love for the Father brought him complete joy. He wants us to have the same joy in submission to the Father. But we need to make a choice to love those whom God has entrusted to our care, whether family or workers or colleagues, and to accept all trials and suffering on behalf of our neighbour, as Jesus did. Fruit Can we translate our prayer into actions of care and protection, especially for the weak and vulnerable in our neighbourhood?